Okay, Micromod Dude here again, and to show you a quick video here how to get your videos over to your iPad or iPhone. And the first things we're going to need really quick is these two adapters here. First one is this, uh, this basically this Lightning um, to uh, micro USB or SD card. So you can find this at the Apple Store. Um, it's just basically a um, Lightning connector to SD card converter or adapter. Um, I'll put some links in the description. I got it from Amazon for like 14 bucks, dirt cheap. Uh, I believe um, uh, Apple sells it for about 30 bucks, 29 bucks. And then you'll also need something to transfer the, uh, the memory card. And I have this little USB adapter right here. It's by Transcend, works really good. You can just basically put your memory card right in there, pop it in like that. See that? Okay, you also want to get yourself a high quality memory card. I have a scan disk here, Extreme Pro. Um, it's a high transfer rate, and uh, you'll want that to be able to, if you have a, a very high capacity video, like two gigs or something, uh, that you want to transfer over. So um, you'll need this uh, to put it on your iPad. You'll need this to get it from your computer. And then basically you go to your computer, and then you just go to your USB slot on your computer and plug it right in there to your USB slot. And then once that's plugged in like that, it should pop up on your computer and we'll go to the next part of the video coming up now. Okay, so on this part here, I'm going to show you finding how to transfer the video to your micro USB uh, card. So make sure you have that thumbnail, that uh, micro USB thumb drive connected here. As you can see in my F drive, I have it connected here. So you click on that. What you'll need to do first is inside your USB drive um, micro SD card, you need to create a, a folder called DCIM, all capital, DCIM, all capital there. Make sure it's created just like that. Click in that, in there, create another folder. Of course, if you don't know how to create folders, you right click, hit new, and then you can just click folder. Another folder called 100 Media, 100MEDIA, 100 Media. Next thing you'll need to do is inside here, uh, you'll have this will be all blank for you. But this is the format basically you'll need to save your videos in to make this work. So as you can see, um, this is taken from a DJI Spark format and <coughs> and basically um, this is how DJI saves uh, all their movies in an MP4 format here. So we'll need to go ahead and um, you'll need, what I always do is, I usually, um, for me, I just get the last one, I copy it the and then uh, and then I'll, I'll use that last layout to make my next um, for my, my video that I'm going to transfer over. But here's what you're going to need to do on your computer next. So on your computer, you're probably, if you're using Windows, because I don't know how to do this on Mac, but only on Windows, um, you're probably not going to see this MP4 format. So we need to fix that. So in order to fix that, you go to View, and from View, you go to Options on the right. Then, in the, in the folder option, you go to view again, and you scroll, and you look where it says hide extensions for known file types, and you uncheck that. I'll check it so you can see, watch. Once, see, this is probably what yours looks like. So again, you go to view, then you go to the right, go to options, change folder and search options, then you go under view, and then you uncheck hide extensions for known file types you uncheck that you hit apply hit OK and there it is so then you, what you need to do next is as, as what I did is um here like uh, you could use you could probably do um DGI so what I'll do is I'll rename this real quick here so let's say you mean oh actually what I would recommend is you right click on it because we're, we're gonna do this all in one big swap here go to properties Here's the name of the video. So for the video portion of it, you're going to name it DJI capital letters and then underscore then um, then 0059 since mine is 58 I'll name it 59. <clears throat> you could name it whatever you want 0001, 0002 or I don't know whatever. You could name it 0059 if you want to make it easy. And then Make sure there's a period right there. <clears throat> Scroll over to the end. <clears throat> and the MP4 needs to be capitalized or it also won't work. I tried it without it capitalized and it didn't work. So you just go back here. M, oh, make sure it's capital MP4. 
and then you just hit OK and then there it is MP4 then what you do is just get that video you could either just uh, right click and then you could select copy or control C on the on your keyboard or you can just drag it over and then it'll copy over to your basically it'll copy over to your um, your micro USB um, card that's on your USB adapter this will probably take about depending how big your video is if it's maybe this is about a two hour movie so it'll take about maybe I don't know about a minute or so to copy it over depending on the speed of your of your micro USB card if it's a cheap one this one says about 45 seconds left so basically that's basically it now if you have a video that is not in mp4 format then we got a problem you need to convert it over to that type of uh, format for it to be able to work in this scenario there might be other ways to do it online but I don't know this is the method that worked for me what I've done if I had a video that was in like um, some other format I have a program that I personally use called uh, Will Forma and Will Forma for me works really good I mean this is a really good program you could probably buy it online um, it converts videos over to mp4 uh, and you could probably do that yourself too if you want if you want to buy the program there's other free ones out there that do it too what I do is I just open it up the full feature mode and then what I do is I get the actual movie where's it at here okay here's the movie I just dump it in here okay it basically dumps it here and then once it's, it's in here I'll go ahead and export create video mp4 is right here for me see that mp4 format and then just export bam and it's done it does it for me automatically it could it might take about an hour or so depending on how long the video is so that's what I do in case the uh, sign an mp4 format so you'll need to figure out what you want to do for your type of scenario but basically there it is um, it should be already copied over here to your USB drive so there it is in my USB DCIM 100 media and there it is right there it's 1.6 gigabytes big the video next section here I'll show you what to do next on the iPad all right okay so now I have it set up here we're gonna go ahead and plug this in here to my iPad okay let me unlock this real quick here okay so just plug it in like normal bam and something should pop up here hopefully okay there it is all right so let me just clip that so you'll see that it's gonna have something that says import here so it's gonna ask what do you want to import and if you look very closely it should be the very last thing on the bottom where it says today I don't know if you can see that well or not let me see if I can zoom in here but you should see that it should say today so basically what you'll do is so I, I, I select it so it's just today you select the video it has a little check and then on the top right you see select import BAM and then import selected you do that and then it'll start spinning see that it'll start spinning and get to getting your video onto your iPad I like to do this so I can watch stuff and so forth so let's watch and wait for this to finish okay so this it finished it stopped spinning then it, tur it turned to a green check and then it said import complete I um would you like to delete this imported video from the attached camera I'm gonna I just I always select keep you know because you never know keep that then you go ahead and unplug your USB thing I'm a jigger there okay then you're gonna want to go to your photos so go to your photos on your iPad there photos and then um, basically where is it out here it should be now this will be this is what's tricky um, it'll be dated different so you're gonna have to look for it see mine says July 8 2012 that's the date of the video so that that must have been when the, the video was originally created so is, it might be it might vary for you um, but basically you could tell by how long it is this is an hour and 57 because it's a movie so you're gonna have to look for it in your movie in your in your photos then you can click on it and then you should just be able to play it like normal Let's see if it plays here and there it is it's uh it's gonna play my clip there okay so that's basically it you know um, not too hard to do 
Um, took me trial and error to figure out the right method to do this. But basically, again, I'll put the links in the description of what you'll need. You'll need some way to uh, transfer the video to your uh, the the uh, video to your micro SD card. What I recommend is a, is a high speed micro SD card that transfers video fast. I personally use this one right here. It's really fast. It's, it's a scan disk Extreme Pro. Transfers really really fast video. You'll need to buy something like that. You'll need to have some kind of adapter like this to put the video on, uh, to be able to transfer on the computer. And then most importantly, you'll need this. I'll put the link in the description for this. Apple sells one just like this. I got it from Amazon for like half the price. I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description for the one I got it. Um, but basically it's just a, um, it's just a SD, uh, lightning, or lightning to a SD card adapter. Apple sells it. And that's basically it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I need to reach those thousand marks to get my monetization back up. Until next time, peace.